Hello and welcome to this video where we are trying to find out what is um, the particular integral of type 1 using an example. So the equation that is given to us is a third order differential equation. It's a linear differential equation because the coefficients are all 1, uh, right? And uh, it is a non-homogeneous linear differential equation because the right hand side is not a constant. It is a function of x. Right? So the first thing that we do is we find out the independent variables and the dependent variable. So the independent variable is x and the dependent variable is y. How do we find out what is the independent variable? We Well, we look at the denominators of each of these equations, each of the terms in this equation on the left hand side. And we see on the right hand side that the function is purely made up of x variable only. There is no y variable over there. So x is the independent variable. Well, now what we do is that we write down the symbolic form of the equation. So the symbolic form of the equation gives us capital D cube y in place of D cube y by dx cube. And then we get capital D square y in place of the second order derivative term and cap plus dy in place of the first order derivative term. Please remember that capital D is the differential operator in this case with respect to the independent variable x. And then um, plus y is equal to e raised to the power 3 x plus 4. So this is the symbolic form of the equation. What we do now is on the left hand side, we take the y common out, right? Since, uh, you know, the operators are, um, uh, you know, associative, right? So we um, take the y outside and we write d cube plus d square plus d plus 1 and uh, of y as equal to e raised to the power 3x plus 4. Now we identify what is our fd, what is our r and what is a, right? So what we get as fd is the left hand side, the thing in the bracket, right? So d cube plus d square plus d plus 1 is our fd, r is e power 3, 3x plus 4 which is there on the right hand side. And a is equal to 3. So how do we get a? So we, what we do is that we compare 3x plus 4 with ax plus b. And the coefficient of 3, the uh, coefficient of x is 3, and that becomes the value of a. Hence, our particular integral is going to be equal to e raised to the power 3x plus 4, which is r divided by fd, which is d cube plus d square plus d plus 1. Okay, now f of a is equal to f of 3 because a is equal to 3. And now what we do is that we substitute d as equal to 3 and we'll get 3 cubed plus 3 squared plus 3 plus 1, which gives us 4t, right? So this 4t is not equal to 0. Yippee! And that gives us the particular integral as e raised to the power 3x plus 4, which is r divided by f a. Now, you see, this fa is not equal to 0. So this is our particular integral. We substitute the value of fa as 4, 0, as 40. And we get our particular integral as e to the power 3x plus 4 divided by 40. Yay! We are done with the problem. Thanks for watching.